doing a great Whoa. job of avoiding any serious offense. That'll go a long way as this one progresses. Two. Oh, how much pain is that arm in now? Three. Look out, look out. Whoa, 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 look out, he's got that arm bar locked in. Let's talk whoa. briefly about Tyler Breeze. Definitely looking confident. In the oh, look at the pressure being put on the elbow. That can't feel good. Just a dominating display. Yeah, I think we could see a lot of punishment inflicted here. Seven. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. I don't agree with you, King. Eight. What a match this is going to be. I've been looking forward to this one for a long time, Cole. The strikes have a little extra on them tonight. I'm not sure I can watch this. Oh, no. Three. Wait a minute, Cole. That arm is now in an extremely compromising position. I'll let the doctors formalize the prognosis, but the way he's holding his arm with such a limited range of motion could mean he suffered nerve damage. Yeah, you're right, Cole. These are scary moments. All we can do is hope that the damage he suffered in this match isn't permanent. You can bet every superstar on the roster is crowded around the monitors in the back to see which one of these guys comes out victorious. Eight. Watch out. Whoa. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary Two. when you get near all these dangerous objects. Three. Tyler Breeze doing some good work here. Well, we're on the move here. Four. Uh-oh, what are we going to see here? Five. Can't Six. stay vertical after the belly-to-belly -belly suplex. One of the best moves ever to take your opponent off his feet. Oh, the Seven. trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary Eight. when you get near all these dangerous objects. Competing at full health here, definitely in a good position. Three. Four. If you haven't done it yet, check out WWE.com. You'll find Five. updates and blogs from all your favorite superstars. Yeah, and don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Six. It's at Jerry Lawler and at Michael Cole. Right, Michael Cole? Yeah, that's original. Seven. We're in the feeling out process. Who's going to get the advantage and maintain control? Your guess is as good as mine, Cole. Uh -oh. Seeing attacks to the back of the head reminds me how thankful I am Three. to be sitting right here. Yeah, I wish I were as thankful. Well, we're on the move here. Four. Look out. Five. Oh, I think this man means business. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on Six. your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you could find Seven. yourself in a world of hurt. Quick thinking to avoid that. Back where it belongs, Eight. inside the ring. Back into the ring now. Yeah, this is good. This is where the action needs to be. I have a strong feeling that these guys will throw caution to the wind and just go full steam ahead. I hope you're right. That's exactly Two. what I want to see. Three. No love loss between these two. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Oh, you have to be careful when you're in the ring with Tyler Breeze. He's not above using his cell phone as a weapon. Oh, out of nowhere. 
That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Three. Wow! Unbelievable impact there. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed... What diabolical things are going through that line right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything Six. at your opponent. And that could be what we're seeing here. And once again, we see a return to the specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. Yeah, if it keeps working, Eight. keep working. When Tyler Breeze isn't looking to gain the advantage by illegally using his cell phone, he does have an impressive repertoire Two. of kicks worth talking about. His missile drop kick is pretty amazing, Cole, as well as that Inzaguri he likes to use. I assure you, that hurts. Well, we're on the move here. You don't want to get caught outside the Six. ring for too long. What happened to you? You used to love being outside the ring. Seven. Now back to the ring. Great match here, but if you missed any of the matches from this week, go to WWE.com to catch up on all the action. I go to WWE.com all the time to catch up on the Divas. And there's some more emotion on display. We're looking at complete domination here. Tyler Breeze is a man who has various seasonal residences and claims that his eyes will set you free. Oh, man. His modeling career is the foundation of one of his many mantras. That it's not what he's wearing. But who? Six. Seven. King, just look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes Eight. almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. One. The damage has been done. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, Three. and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Tyler Breeze is not just a fashion icon. In the ring, he's a master manipulator and an expert opportunist, and of course, his own secret admirer. But why let details like that get in the way of anything? Michael, I know you think this man is a sex symbol, and he has all the tools to back it up in the ring. I'm going to predict right now that Tyler Breeze's WWE career will eclipse everything he's done in the modeling world. What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do here? Oh, wait, nice reversal. Whoa. Two. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. Well, those kind of acrobatics will keep the eyes of the WWE Universe on you at all times. Yeah, I know, after that, I couldn't believe my eyes. There may be no fighting out of this. Oh, it'll take a minor miracle to come back from this. Oh, there it is. What a maneuver. That's how you put away an opponent. I love it. He thinks he has it. One, two, three. There's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I don't know how you can pick out highlights from that match. The whole match was highlights. Here's your winner, Chris Danger. That's an impressive win right there. Man, this is one of those wins you don't forget anytime soon. What an effort we saw here. Truly a great match.
He's out here to get some revenge, fighting fire with fire, letting loose with all his frustration and anger. Oh, and look at him go. Even the referee can't stop him. I think you're going to need more help than that. And there's the bell. This one-on-one -on -one battle is underway, and you can cut the tension with a knife. Many pundits still believe there's no better way to settle a score than two people getting in that ring and fighting. The back is the largest area on the human body, and thus always a target. I know what you mean. You know, I've got a week back. How long did you have that? Well, about a week back. Well, we're on the move here. Kevin Owens, let's get your take on him. Well, look. A win tonight is huge. I mean, just think about this. The title's not on the line, but the momentum you're riding after a win like that is huge. Oh. Well, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. I'm not sure if we've ever seen a superstar more graceful jumping from the top rope than Fandango. But when he lands his leg drop across his opponent's throat, it's not exactly watching Fred Astaire. Fandango's leg drop is devastating. Looking motivated now. Well, we're on the move here. You don't want to get caught outside the ring for too long. What happened to you? You used to love being outside the ring. Oh, out of nowhere! Watch out here! Ow! Ooh. Today, too fast. Kevin Owens shows us some clever offense here. When you have so many maneuvers at your disposal like Fandango, the finishing move you choose sends a message in itself to your opponents. Fandango's leg drop from the top rope spells the beginning of the end for opponents. And if that's all, they should consider themselves lucky. Michael, the height and the impact of Fandango's top rope leg drop is incredible. It's another reason why Fandango's opponents need to watch their step or he's going to dance straight to victory. Will it be? There can only be one top dog here in the WWE, and a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best in the business.